Can you say this has been a native place since? Forever. So can you start with this has been a native place and then say? No, why would I say that? We're here, we've always been here. There's no time or anything, you know, like, this is where we are. The Creator made us to live here. And here we are, we're very happy here. People have been moving around for a long time. And sometimes in all that moving, they find a place they like so much, they decide to stay. Like New York. Lots of people have liked New York so much, they just decided to stay. And eventually, if they stay long enough, they start to think of themselves as native New Yorkers. But how long does it take to become a native New Yorker? Well, she was born here, so she probably thinks of herself as a native New Yorker. And of course, her father lived here for 80 years and considered himself a native New Yorker. British and French who zipped over about 400 years ago, it didn't take long for them to start thinking of themselves as native New Yorkers. And certainly the Dutch felt they were native New Yorkers. After all, before New York was called New York, it was known as New Amsterdam. But if we go back further, further, no further, a lot further, before Shakespeare, before Rome, before Buddha, before the Ten Commandments, before the First Pyramid, to the very roots. Now these are certainly native New Yorkers. Native Americans, and they are still here. Is it accurate information about the history of Native people here in New York State? I mean, what would you get? What advice would you give to kids that are looking at that history? Uh, they should look at uh, everything, not just uh, what's in the textbooks. They're starting to make changes in in history, and history is one of those dynamics that changes all the time. That's the trouble with history. There isn't just one version. Let's say this happened in 1626. And this was the headline. No reason to doubt it, especially if it's in this official book called American History. And really, who has time? Learn it for the test, get an A, and move on. But wait, maybe ask the question, who wrote this? Was it this person? This one? This one? Or this one? Depending on who wrote this, we might get a different interpretation of the event. A different headline, a different image, a different history. Because when we describe an event, the story comes from our own perspective. But we can't assume the history we are looking at is the only one. What do you know about um, when they say uh, uh, the Dutch came and they bought uh, Manhattan? Do you know anything about that? I don't know. Remember this image? Oh, sorry, you'll remember it like this. This event is the supposed sale of Manhattan. In 1626, the Dutch thought they had bought a chunk of what we now call New York by offering the local Lenape Indians some Dutch goods. Well, at least that is how Peter Shagan reported it to his employer. They have purchased the island Manhattis from the Indians for the value of 60 guilders. We don't really know what was traded, just that the items from the Dutch were worth 60 guilders, which is Dutch money estimated to equal about $24. The Lenape probably did not think of it as a sale. Instead, they accepted what the Dutch gave them and likely thought they'd continue to give gifts in return for sharing the land. After all, who would give up rights to territory for some beads and cloth? The bigger question is whether the Lenape and Dutch both considered it the same kind of agreement. Maybe the Dutch were pulling one over on the Lenape? Or maybe the Lenape were pulling one over on the Dutch? But what is more likely is that the Indians meant to allow the Dutch to use the land. An agreement to share hunting and fishing rights. We don't know for sure, but we do know that this event set two civilizations on a collision course. What's the most important thing for everyone to know about Native people in New York State? That we're still here. American Indians have always been here. And here, and here, and here, and here, and here, and here, and here. But right now we are talking about here. 
New York State. Many Native tribes have lived here, and still do. Native people have always lived here. Many Native people and many Native nations are still making history today, just like we all are, right now, here. New York is and always has been a Native place. Um, I mean, historically, it's something that's undeniable, but also a lot of people forget that we're still existing. Like, you could go with the really philosophical claim, like, existence is always existing, but it's undeniable, you know? You can't really take that away. <laughs> 